Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of A Niche. Today's episode I want to fast forward a little bit, otherwise we're gonna basically do the same thing as in the previous episode. What is my goal exactly, I can explain you. Here we have Dukta and Aname, which we are going to breed together. I already set the genes that I want to achieve, which is the normal eyesight and also the cracker jaw. Those guys I would like to upgrade. We already have the cracker jaw with Dukta, so we have an increased chance at getting that. Once we have achieved that, I'm actually pretty much happy with my species. I also would like to have the fishing tail, actually. At the moment we have none of that but we will be able to achieve it I'm sure however I want to do this off camera just so that I can save a little bit of time and then I'm gonna meet you right back when we are ready with the perfect species in quotes of course I still gonna experiment around with the species but I just want it to be prepared for the next island all right guys <laughs> give me a couple of minutes to achieve that and then I'm gonna be right back with you and there we go guys, we are back and you can see it is now substantially later. I explored the entire first island, I went through a whole bunch of babies I have to say and right here we have the couple that I want to take to the next world. I'm actually gonna go even further than that. I think I want to breed a couple of babies with those guys, bring them over here to this area and then we're- or maybe actually this one here. This looks like the jungle biome. Though does the jungle count as a hot area is the question. Or is it just like the desert? I'm not sure because my guys all have a big body at the moment which gives minus 5 heat resistance. Anyway, so let me show you what we got right here. We got uh, Duktaku and also Rame. And they're both practically twins, you could say. Rame, however, has the fishing tail, which is what I want. And Duktaku has, what does he have? A fluffy tail. However, they do have a bunch of traits that I'm actually pretty fond of and they are at a respectable age. So I would say we're gonna breed a couple of babies with those two guys and then we shall see what comes out of there. And I would say we're gonna continue towards this island right here just because it seems like my guys would be more suited for that. Anyways, let's uh, continue to the next day and look at that, we even got a dotted pattern here. Now this baby is perfect, it does have the immunity genes that I want, so what we are going to do with this girl is we're gonna get pregnant again, go into this nest, you're gonna collect all the berries, even though, you know, we have so many berries at this point, but it's still worth it to grab some of them. Over 500, it's kind of crazy. Anyways, let's see what this baby has in store for us. Also two different immunity genes, I'm very happy about that. Let's uh, go ahead and make our way towards this area. We're gonna get pregnant once again. Do we actually have like a girl and a boy? So that's already perfect. Even if we don't get lucky anymore, we would have enough to continue this. Let's bring this guy over here. You are also gonna move out of the nest. This time we got a baby with the same immunity gene, so we cannot use her or him. I'm gonna get pregnant once again, collect berries, etc, etc. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit until I have my troop ready for the travel. Okay, I actually think we already got our troop together. We got a boy and a girl right there, and then we got a girl and a boy right there. It's perfect. Okay, now we also got a predator over there. Maybe we can actually do some damage to him because that's all we have to do at this point. Can we get there? Yeah, but we cannot attack. This guy cannot attack. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna take a whole bunch of damage, but that's fine, that's fine. I just want to move my troops. Oh man, this guy. Come on, kill him off, kill him off. I want to do that at least. Yeah, there we go and collect his food. You are gonna move out of the nest, you're gonna move towards your companions over there and soon enough we can go to the second island, that is exciting. There we go, I want you to move over there and you to move here. And I'm not sure, which fields do I have to occupy? I mean, do all the green fields here count or what are the teleportation fields? I'm not so sure. I'm actually gonna wait one more turn right there and then we're gonna move this guy over here. How can you not hump over this guy? This doesn't make sense. Let's collect some more berries and then we're just gonna move and see what happens. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna move in with you. No, you can't do it, but with you. There we go. All animals on port fields. Yeah, what are the port fields? 
but we're doing it, guys! Ooh! Okay, it actually worked, so it seems as though it's just the colored area. Oh, well, let's uh, zoom out a little bit, and holy schmoly cow, this is something else here. Wow, this is incredible! Let's actually check out the stats. What can our people do? They currently have one swimming, two collecting, three strength, cracking, and some smelling. That's good. We even got two stealth. That is kind of perfect. The first thing we need to figure out is what all of that shebang is. This is actually also absolutely new for me, so that's gonna be exciting. First thing we need to do, I would say, is explore a little bit. Maybe we are gonna be lucky and we can uncover some stuff here. Ah, this is curious. Uh, let's move to the next day. We need to find the nest and then continue breeding and hopefully we will also come across some new genes that we could integrate into our family. But for now, let's do some smelling. Maybe we can even smell bunnies? No, it doesn't look like. And also not berry bushes. So I'm actually glad I collected all of this food so that we can explore calmly and don't have to fight for survival right away. Okay, so until we have figured out what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick together with our guys. We need to continue breeding. Also, I wonder, what are we gonna need to collect this shebang? And is some of that hostile? That might be a good question. We're gonna move over there and see if we can... Ah, okay, so these are the berry bushes of this island. That's good to know. And here we go! We found our first nest. This is perfect. We got a girl and a boy right there. I actually think those guys are gonna be the parents of this family. Let's actually see. Yeah, look at that. All of the other guys have been deleted. That is actually a pity. I would have loved to see everyone who has ever been in my family. But that is fine. Oh man, this island is crazy. We need to figure out what those things are here. Oh, oh, we got our first predator here. And this guy, a smelling ape. Re what? 93 days remaining life? Oh, maybe I totally underestimated this. Holy schmoly. He does... Oh man, can we... I cannot even attack him. The defense of this animal is higher than your strength. Wow, that is interesting. So what do I do? I'm not so sure. Uh, first of all, we're gonna move over. Then maybe we need to lick her. There we go. So she doesn't bleed anymore. And then we're gonna move out of the way and hope for the best. I don't know. I seriously don't know, actually. Uh, Kukiri, let's see. We want to move Korere over. First, we're gonna get pregnant, move over. Then we uncover this berry bush. With Kukiri, we're gonna move here. This hopefully decreases the chance that our parents are being attacked. And then maybe we can lure this ape around. But I guess I should have heeded your warnings and kept the claw in the family. But, you know, collecting just seemed so much more practical to me. We're gonna uh, go to the next turn, and yeah, of course we take damage again. That is kind of unfortunate. Oh, jeez. He's just gonna eradicate us, isn't he? Let's see, uh, we got a sick baby, unfortunately, but that doesn't change that we are in a really bad situation. We're gonna move over here, uncover this berry bush. Then right here, let's see, maybe we can get a little bit away, that would be great. Collect some more berries here and we're gonna uncover this. Okay, we got a new guy right here and he's got four attack. Let's actually see what he's got in the joint, the claw. So we could breed with him in order to get the claw back, for instance. Let's actually see, what do we have here? Ah, the brown eyes are new in the joint. All right, let's uh, continue to the next turn and yeah, we're being attacked again. And the ape killed our first victim, though it disappeared. What does that mean? I would have had to do 93 damage, that's kind of sick. Anyways, um, Rira, maybe we are gonna breed with this guy, what do you think, huh? We could do it, though we do not have a nest yet and we only have 7 days to live. So what I'm gonna do still is we're gonna befriend this guy maybe, yeah, and then we're also gonna breed with him. Just to see, maybe we get something really nice. In the meantime, we collect some berries, take away that, so we know where these bushes are. Cool, right here we can do some more breeding. Of course, we need all of the animals we can get in the pack. Good, that was, I believe, all I could do. No, I can collect some more berries. There we go. Ooh, I'm so glad the ape has gone. I was already afraid there, man. Really afraid. Oh no, the ape is still there. It was just hidden in the bushes. Well, that is unfortunate. We're so dead, guys. I'm gonna move uh, the parents over again. I'm gonna collect some berries here, move over, and we're gonna get 
pregnant again and uncover some more stuff. You need to collect berries and then move away from the ape, man. Okay, let's see what the ape is gonna do. He's gonna move up and he killed another one of my guys. Yeah, I mean, we can actually give him the bad babies as father or we move away. He just killed a pregnant woman, by the way. Jesus. But maybe there is a way for us to kind of lure him away. That would be great. Uh, let's uncover this bush as well. In the meantime, collect berries, uncover stuff. Also, what is this? Let's actually scratch this and holy cow. Okay, we can also collect that up. That is great. Ape, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna follow me? Oh my gosh. So maybe this is the jungle area. Maybe I should have gone to the other area. I think that was my mistake. What if we went over here and actually went to yet another area? Maybe this wouldn't be that hard, but it seems as though I need a much better breed in order to survive this hellhole here. Let's see, we got Nuta, which does have bad genes, yes, and you have bad genes as well. So we at least need two more babies, two more healthy babies to accomplish that. <laughs> Koreri, you need to go here and uncover this, collect some berries. Oh, 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 okay. Who are you? Rogue male. Oh, what does that mean? Are you going to attack me as well? He's got 12 days left to live. Let's see what happens if we scratch him. Oh, he actually scratched me too because he had a spiky body, I think. Oh, guys, we're so screwed. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh, what happened to this game? It was so friendly to me. Okay, so now we also got to deal with birds. What does that mean? What do they do? Oh man, I'm so frightened. Let's uh, birth another baby. Good, we got a healthy baby here. Merara, you are going to be my number one choice. Let's see. I wonder, what do the birds do? Do they steal the bunnies or my, my babies maybe? Could also be. Let's observe the bird. Is he coming down? I don't know what the bird is doing. Okay, the bird is going away, I think. Can never be too sure. We're gonna move in a little bit. Ah, oh, there are more berry bushes. That would have been great. However, uh, let's get pregnant again. We're gonna wait here in the bushes and we're gonna skip the next turn. Uh, we got the ape problem again, but this time we got the baby Merara. Hopefully we're gonna be lucky and we're gonna get a boy in the next turn. So we're gonna actually collect some berries, move over and collect more. So we got Carrera ready to give birth again. We're gonna move away from the ape, holy cow. And then we're gonna maybe move you closer to the ape. Oh, look at that. Let's actually befriend this companion and then we're gonna move to the ape. Let's see, does he have some attack? No, but we're still gonna move to the ape. Uh, just stand in, in the way as a bait, so to speak. Good, I think we got it. Let's skip the turn and oh my gosh, this guy already dead. Nuta isn't doing very well, I have to say. <laughs> this is horrible, guys. Hopefully we're gonna make it away from this island. I should have gone towards the flower. What was I thinking, man? We can still do this. Uh, it depends. What did we get here? We got a baby boy and a baby girl. It's perfect. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay, now we just have to make it over there. Save and sound. <laughs> that could be harder than we think. Let's see. I'm gonna move here and collect some more berries. Then uh, what can we do? Nothing really. We just have to stand in the way of the predators, basically. Okay, we're gonna skip the turn. We got another dead one. That's fine. You're gonna move out of the nest. Okay, and we're gonna get in the way here. Holy cow, we just need to cover for our babies. You are gonna move over and over. That's where we want to go. <laughs> Towards the flowers. Oh man, oh man. I'm gonna skip the turn and we're being attacked again, of course. Nothing else I would have expected. Kirkirta and uh, Merara are gonna be the only survivors of this jungle trip. <laughs> Let's uh, collect some more berries. I mean, that's all we can do, I guess, at this point and hope for the best. Oh no, you bastard! That's fine, we can still do it. We can still freaking do it, right? We're gonna move here and you are gonna move there. Okay, good, travel, G go away. This was stressful, I have to say, but now we have to breathe very quickly. Okay, there we go. We have arrived and look at that. This looks much, much friendlier and holy cow, this is one big island, I have to say. Wow. 
but I feel much, much more comfortable with that solution, actually. So let's see what we can do about this. Yeah, we will have to skip the turn and find the nest very soon, though we do have 16, no, 15 days left, right? So it's no problem, actually. We can even build our own nest, to be honest with you. Yeah, we should actually do that. She isn't quite ready yet, so one turn we can still explore. There we go, and then she is ready. Perfect. Okay, you are gonna get pregnant, then move over here and build a nest. Oh no, she cannot do it here. Curious. Am I... Oh, I'm not pregnant. Oh no, this is a male. Of course. Okay, there is the female. Holy Moses. Let's try this again. Please build a nest and birth a baby. You would think I had the time to waste all of these days, man. But there we go. Lame is our first baby. That's pretty lame. We got 12 days remaining, so that's pretty good. I would say we are gonna breed a whole bunch of babies and then we're gonna send those babies out to explore this island and see what happens. Uh, we want to build another nest and collect some berries right there. Skip another day and then I can use this guy already in order to do some exploring. We also got a sick baby this time. We got a healthy one and a sick one. We love them both the same, doesn't matter to us. There we go, we are pregnant again, collecting some more berries, and we are gonna have two explorers already. Pretty darn cool. Okay, that's where I actually wanted to be in the first place, man. This jungle island, I'm actually really surprised we survived it. But now we know what we have to watch out for. Anyways, guys, I'm not sure if I'm gonna produce any more episodes of that. It, it really depends a little bit on your feedback and what you guys want. So let me know. But other than that, I would say we're gonna wrap it up at this point. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon.